Welcome back to Lynette. So life I am, of course, you was truly Lynette, and this is my life. Welcome back, my beautiful gems. How are you? So I can see, I got my nigga next to me. Because y'all know how I do. Solo in this piece. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what are we doing today? Um, here for my second vaccination. Yay, Pfizer? Yes. Awesome. Okay, bring that, your ID, and your insurance card if you have one. And you're going to park and you're going to go in this front door and they've got your paperwork right there. They actually will probably have your paperwork from your first shot, so you won't have to fill anything okay, out. so I go in today? You got to go in today. What? I know, I'm sorry. It won't uh, take long. It ain't no problem. It'll be quick. It'll be quick. All right, thank you. The challenge is finding a parking place. I see. Yes, ma'am, but we've got some on the side. You just have to walk. Okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Oh, in case y'all didn't know, um, <clears throat> I've already got my first. Oh, look at God. She said I was going to pull on say. <laughs> God know my heart, and He know my body, and He know right now walking. Ain't for me. Anyway, I'm here getting a shot, child, because of uh, my doctor recommended. Oh. My doctor recommended that uh, I get the shot, y'all. It's been a long process. Um, I did not want. Let me let my window up because I don't need nobody all up in my conversation. You know what I'm saying? People be nosy when you be recording. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Get out my conversation. Get out my mouth. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I just looked him up and down. Sure did. All up in my face. But uh, what was I about to say? Um. I gotta make sure I keep this somewhere safe. <sighs> okay, yeah, that's the one. But anyway, um, I, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know how I get distracted. I, um, oh, this is what it is. Well, tell your man to keep his ass off of me. Because he was all up in my face. But anyway, so, in the beginning, I was seeing how I didn't want to get the shot and stuff. I was scared because, and I'm just be real with y'all. I was scared to do it because I'm like, this is something new on the market. How can they be certain that this ain't going to have no adverse effects or anything like that? Like, can you guarantee me that I'm going to be good? Like, what will this do? So I was paranoid about getting it. Everybody was getting it on YouTube and everybody was getting it and stuff, you know, jumping on the bandwagon and doing it or whatever. And I was like, okay, well, it's all good for you. But it's not for me. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. Uh, if it were not for my kidneys, I probably still would be going through that dilemma of whether or not I would get it. Or unless it um, had anything to do with somebody around me where I couldn't be. Um, couldn't be around somebody because... I didn't have a shot or I couldn't go somewhere or a certain place because I didn't have a, the, 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 the shot. So I really was against it. Like I was trying to do everything in my power to not do it. But then, like I say, when it came down to me getting sick, and my doctor was like, yo, I really recommend you getting that shot because if you were to catch the virus right now, you're done for. You're done -zo. So, ended up having to convince everybody in my life to go because, like, a lot of people in my family were like they weren't going to do the shot but then when it came down to it it was like well in order to be around me they had to have it done 
So yeah, the only person there that I think hasn't gotten it is my father. He reneged on me, y'all, but I'm about to go on here, go in here. My mom, what reminded me, because I actually had forgot. But what reminded me was my mom was saying that the other day my brother had got his and it had him feeling kind of ugh. And I was like, oh my God, I forgot to go. I forgot today is my day to go get mine. But now I'm kind of like nervous. The first one, like my arm, oh my arm. That first one, my arm hurt. Like hell. But now I'm scared to get the second one because I'm starting to feel a little better in my body. And I'm scared this shot about to make me feel bad. I and I ain't bring my bag, so I don't have my ibuprofen or Tylenol. All right, y'all. Let me know. Hey, let me put my mask on. Y'all like the mask in my baby bottle? For this one, I'm going to do Stone Trooper. Even though he got all kind of red shit in here from when he had to borrow my mask. And he was eating some hot Cheetos. Y'all know how they go. Children stain everything. So, anyway. I'm gonna put this mask on. <sighs> God, alright, y'all. I don't know how they got my nose. <laughs> As if it ain't big enough. What is my hip do that? Anyway, let's do this. Yeah. Okay, y'all. I'm it. I couldn't do no recording in there, but I got. Oh, she did it right on my tape, too. She ran for that. <laughs> Disrespectful. Um, I'm back in the car. Got my second boost. I mean, my second shot. I'm good to go. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if I might do these. I don't know if I'm gonna do these videos in order or not. But yesterday, I was supposed to come on here and update y'all on um, what's been going on with me. But yesterday, I ended up having an episode. I had a mental breakdown or whatever, whatever. Okay. I didn't hear sometimes. But anyway, I ended up having one breakdown and came out here and talked about that instead. That video is an hour long. I want to edit it, but I know it's going to take a minute. I was supposed to get it up yesterday. But then, like I said, it was an hour long. I ain't feel like editing. I was drained yesterday and then today. I didn't want to edit the video because I'm on some positive vibes today. Or I've been trying to be on some positive vibes today. So I like didn't want to edit that video and get put back in that headspace if you know what I'm saying. So, hold on, I'm putting my, I've been, I was vaccinated on my thing. But anyway, ooh, Mac and Dog has disrespectful. <laughs> Man, like a great string coming from my. So, anyway, today. Trying to be positive or whatever. I talked to um, a friend, a family friend today. Um, she kind of gave me some insights or some things. 
and it kind of helped. I say all of it to say this. So I'm here at this place, right? And I'm listening to these. Like, I, I don't know. I come on. <laughs> no shade, no disrespect. But I feel like I came during senior citizen time. <laughs> Cause when I say it ain't never but old people in here, y'all. It ain't never but old people in here. And it's like old couples. And it's like the most cutest, most making me jealous type thing in the world. I know, right? Like, oh, I wish I had that. Wish I could be here with my man, you know? Need to know that. So, basically, I'm listening and like, it's this older couple that was behind me. And well, it was an older couple behind me and then it was a guy, an older guy that was behind them. And you know, they all know each other, whatever. So they was all talking. And um, so the guy, the single guy, well, I don't know if he's single or not, but he was here by himself. And he made the comment, he was like, I remember when polio when the polio vaccine vaccination hit and everybody was lined up they'd be lined up for miles you know, to get that shot and the lady that was with you know the couple the lady was like yeah I remember that she was like, I was a senior. And then the uh, guy who mentioned it, he was like, yeah. He said, I was a little boy. He said, I was a real little boy when, when that happened. But I remember it. And she was like, well, see, you talking about, you, you, he, she was like, you, you barely remember. Because <laughs> you were so young, you were a baby. He was like, but I was a senior in high school when it happened. And she was like, I remember I wrote, a report on it and it got me she was like she was she wrote a report and she got um she got sent to Baton Rouge or whatever because she had won an award or whatever with the school and it got her sent on a trip to Baton Rouge but they told her she had to you know do a, a rewrite her story or whatever they they felt like it was too soon to be writing about the polio and all of that so but that's what got her to that recognition you know what I'm saying so I'm just listening and stuff and then um the guy got got to talking about one of his granddaughters how she got um, COVID and stuff and how a guy, he, he knew a young guy in his 30s that he's 30 and he got the virus and it caused scarring on his um, his lungs and stuff and now he's still, you know, just basically talking about how Now he's still dealing with it and he has trouble breathing. And he's a young guy and now, you know, he's like, he's been affected for the rest of his life with this. And so, and he was just basically saying how that convinced him, you know, to go out here and get the vaccination and stuff like that. And um, then I got to talking to someone and I was mentioning about the only reason why I was getting the shot was because my doctor pretty much scared me into it because I got kidney disease. And then one of the ladies that had already got her shot was waiting. She was like, you know, she chimed in. Everybody, you know, older people chime in. So I started talking about how 
And she was like, yeah, them doctors will do it. She said, uh, I'm dealing with my heart. I got heart issues. And she said, my doctor scared me <laughs> into getting mine too, baby. So I understand, you know. And that kind of like mellowed me out a little bit. But then I was like, oh, this lady. Then I go in the bed. The lady calls me back so I can get my shot. And the girl, I'm trying to wait till these people leave because I know I'm about to cry. Y'all, it's something like God is powerful. He works in mysterious ways, you guys, because like. I could have ended up with anybody on the, on that hall. But I ended up with the first girl. And, like, the way she came out the room, so bubbly, and she was waving her hand, like, I'm your person, come on, you know. So as I'm walking to her and stuff, and I'm like, I just say, at my mouth, I'm just like, receive me in I was like receive me in the spirit girl and she was like oh I receive you honey with the Holy Ghost white girl but you know sometimes depending on what energy you put out into the universe depends on the energy you can get back sometimes I put that energy out there. I didn't. I don't know that girl religion. I don't know the people in the hallway religion. I didn't know. All I said was receive me in the spirit, and she responded, "I receive you in the Holy Spirit." You know what I'm saying? Her name is Callie. So if anybody happen to be watching this and you work for Nagatish Parish Regional, Nagatish Regional Medical, and you know Kelly in urology, you work with an awesome fucking person. She's an awesome human being. Because that woman, y'all, she don't know me from the next person that came in there. She don't know me. But just from that small interaction, it, it sparked conversation. I can't stand when people get big trucks that can't drive them. Now they done backed up all the way in this parking spot. just to get up out of here. That mean you don't deserve that truck. Give me that mother. Let me show you how to drive it. Probably a man truck. Anyway, I'm gonna stop hating. <laughs> like women can't drive a truck. But anyway, she couldn't drive it though. But I guess she heard part of the conversation I, I was having out there and she was like, you know, we was just sitting there talking and I was telling her about, you know, my kidney disease and I was like, you know, actually my primary doctor is here in the office where we were. <laughs> I thought I say, to be honest, I say, this, I think this is actually the room where um I had my first appointment where I discovered, you know, where they pretty much did all my work and stuff. They looked me over and stuff, and that's how I found out about my kidneys and stuff. She was like, oh, you know. But, we just began talking. I'm trying to keep calm. That's why I'm slowly doing this process. But, we were just like talking and stuff and she was like i could look at you she said i see it you're strong she was like honey you are a survivor i'm like this woman don't fucking know me I, how can you say i'm a survivor you don't even know me lady
But I had somebody one day last week tell me I have survivor energy. Everybody I come into contact with just about calls me a survivor. My mom my whole life has called me her miracle child. Always told me I was strong. Always told me I was a survivor. And it's like, I used to question growing up why people call me that. And I'm slowly starting to realize I'm a fighter. It was just in me to fight. It's in me to survive. <laughs> to get over it, get through. Uh, but anyway, in our conversation, it was revealed that you never know who you're talking to, you guys. That's why I always try to be okay. That's why when I come into contact with folk, I always try to bring a smile to people's face. Or I always try to give them the best possible energy. Because you never know what somebody going through or what somebody dealing with. It's like yesterday. I was already going through an emotional roller coaster when I woke up. And then, when that man ran into the back of my car, and he jumped out and asked me if I put my car in reverse, that's why it pissed me off so bad, because I'm like, dude, I'm already having a bad day. You fucked up, and you trying to blame it on me? I, I, like, you never know what will send somebody over the edge, bro. I done had plenty of people I done come across. I gave them a have a nice day or, you know, you too beautiful to not be smiling. And then they turn back around and tell me, you don't know what you just did for me. I was possibly getting ready to go in my life. I've had somebody tell me that before. I've actually had somebody tell me that. I've watched someone tell me I was just buying this bottle of pills because I was finna go swallow the whole bottle. But because you you talked to me and because you were so kind to me, I'm gonna put this bottle back. And they put the bottle back and they walked out the store. I done been there. I'd have been the person who was on the edge and all I needed was for one motherfucker to say something wrong to me. And I was done. But then a nice little old lady. Well, hello, beautiful. How are you? Why you look so down? That lady, I never know what she did, but... I don't know, y'all. It was just was talking to this lady, and I said all of that about being careful with what you say to people and the energy you put out to people. Because I could have been griping about, because I really, real life, did not want to come back at y'all today and do this shot. I could have came off up in here, especially being that they didn't do the drive-through. They we had we had to go in and then when I walked in it was a whole bunch of people. Like I could have had an attitude with a chip on my shoulder when I walked in that room and never had that exchange with this woman and never received God's blessing just then. But that woman told me she's sorry, baby. She say, I am 
a two-time cancer survivor. It's like, wait. She's like, yeah. She's like, I'm a two-time cancer survivor. She's saying, and My, she said, I lost my fiance. She said, and the reason why I could pick up on you're a survivor is because he, my, my fiance came in this world a fighter and a survivor. And he left this earth a fighter and a survivor. He left fighting. And she said, that's what gets me through. I knew, she was like, I knew if he were here, he wouldn't let me give up. If he were here, he'd still be fighting. And she was like, she just kept saying, she said, we're a team now, honey. She said, you're doing your care here? I was like, yeah. She said, okay. She said, we're going to take care of you. She said, we all got a story. She said, but I'm here to tell you. We in this together and we're a team. And if you need, if, if you ever need anything. And I be having a lot of people tell me that lately. If you need anything, just let me know. But I'm always so closed off, y'all. I be like, okay. You know how like, it be funerals. And people be like, Call me if you need anything. You know that just be an offer that people just be throwing out there. You know, sometimes that's how we take it. Like, you just saying that. Like, if I really do call you and be like, say I need this, will you really actually do it? You won't know unless you actually ask the person. But, you know, a lot of times people say that just to have something to say. A time of grieving. But, I don't know. I'm about to start taking people up on those offers because that just blessed me. And she even hugged me. Y'all, she kept hugging me. <laughs> and I'm like, it's so easy for me to pick up off people's energy. And I don't want my mama to get jealous, but when that girl hugged me, it felt like I was getting a hug from my mama. And I just, the tears started flowing, and she was like, it's okay to cry. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't be wanting to. I don't be wanting to, y'all. I be trying not to. But... <laughs> I just want Kelly to know in urology. We saw sisters, girl, for life. I'm gonna forever remember you. Don't grow your hat. <laughs> Don't die. But I'm gonna forever remember her. And Mallory, Mallory, my girl Mallory down there at uh, the ambulatory clinic. Mallory, my girl, too. And if I'm not mistaken, I want to say the black girl name was Kelly, too. If I'm not mistaken. But either way, especially Mallory, though. Cause Mallory took care of me. Mallory made sure I was comfortable. Mallory bought me my blanket. Mallory made sure I had the remote to the TV. I'm gonna insert some clips for y'all about my, my trip over there with them. But I'ma be alright, y'all. Let me get at these people parking lot crying. Mm. It 
thing I like a big old thing. I'm here like a big old man. <laughs> so yeah yeah that's been my day <laughs> thus far um Yesterday, I woke up feeling horrible. Ooh, they smoking bad. They're gonna turn it up behind them. Ooh. Cause they is smoking bad. Ooh, that thing about to burn up. feeling horrible and stuff and it just it messed up my whole day but like today I um I'm trying to see what the body is doing. Well, damn, I like anyway today I woke up feeling a little better and it is warm <laughs> but I woke up today feeling a little better but then you know throughout the day I kind of was icky so I pretty much I slept most of the day and um now I'm like I got a little energy but I feel like I'm asleep Tonight I'm gonna go home at seven, so I got a few minutes before, cause I, I try to stop eating after a certain time, so I don't be sick during the night. Um, so I'm gonna go home and heat up some leftovers, some of the leftovers, cause I can't eat too, too much. I don't need all the heaviness in my stomach, but I need to put something in my system to take my night meds. Uh, I might bring that along. I start job fresh with the meds. So yeah, my routine fresh. But anyway, it's getting dark. It's dark out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this hat. I'm on my way back home. Like I say, I'm gonna eat put something on my stomach to take my medicine, and then um, call it a night. And I holler at y'all in the morning. Even if I don't upload, upload these, like, right away, I'm going to make sure I keep up with the dates so I can put a time card or a date card in the video so y'all can, you know, keep up with what, what was 
but again, I tell I get up to date with my post and back up to date with my post. And I was gonna try to go to the snuck house shit, but I think they done closed, they done shut it down now. Cause I like to get my little ice. But I'm quite sure they're closed now. Let me look and see if I can see the truth. And I ain't got no kids, so I mean, no way. Yeah, they shut down, baby. What they doing? Cause they could have been gone. Shit. It just sitting there. Like, what is it waiting on? Anyway. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, share it with your people so they can share with their people. Hey, people, come on. Let's help this beautiful family of gems grow. In the meantime, in between time, y'all already know what it is. Stay blessed, stay beautiful, my gems. I have.